All right, I want to give my bit on software design. I've had a few requests for this specific topic, some a lot longer ago, and I've simply forgotten in more recent requests. So I thought I would go ahead and cover this topic because it is a very important one. In all of software, if this is not the most important, it is definitely top three, I would say. You can have the best programmers write the best code, but if the design stinks, it's going to stink. So, I have been asked, what are my own experiences with software design? Well, I can say that I did start off as just being more analytical. Being asked to be just the background or, or, or maybe some of the front end things but it would be very specific in that here write some store procedures or handle the specific object that's going to collect data and, and, and output it. As the years went on I became more responsible for the actual concepts and designs and then would delegate those tasks that I used to do out. My own personal experience is I've, I've worked with credit unions and home banking systems I have designed entire systems for in the industry, like specific steel, steel treatment or, or, or heat treatment to steel. Probably the biggest is behavior health and managing the mental health clinics and or hospitals. And based, pretty much being the software that runs their entire operation from patient admittance to discharge to their food plans to prescriptions, managing the actual medications, collection of psychiatric evaluations, nursing assessments, problems and goals, interventions, collection, collecting information on group notes, so on and so forth. A whole plethora of just time and effort and data has to go in inside of this. And it's such a, some of these projects are so large that it behooves you to, it behooves you regardless to sit down and conceptually design the software that you're going to write, period. I know some things can be so simple to say, well, I'm just going to, you know, A to B, and that's it, right? Well, for me, too large, and I have to sit down, design it, what kind of database am I going to use? what kind of programming language am I going to use, budgets dictate a lot of these things, uh, are, are we going to be using reusable frameworks that we've used maybe some in, in, in other projects, maybe I can bring some code, some classes that I've written before in other projects and maybe I can bring them in. Designing Everything, how, how the front end talks to the back end. Are we going to be using store procedures? Are we going to be doing calls on the fly? Are we going to be using or, or even talking to existing legacy applications? What are the APIs to do so? How does it integrate in? So on and so forth. And then you can get even very simplistic just for, let's say, tracking of medications. What medications go in? What's the dosage? Outputting it to programs that want that are more of a standard within the medical industry to that need to capture that information and send it elsewhere so the process of that would be designing well how do I collect the data how is it stored where does it need to go and even can be into the granular parts of well the store procedure that's written what is its incoming parameters what is it going to output so on and so forth. So a lot of that is all part of software design, whether it's, it's more of the macro level or the micro level in the design of it. I could tell you there, there are designs where some people would present, well, you have a form. It's going gonna, it's gonna to input, you're gonna, people are going to input, a user is going to input the data and then it's going to output something stored somewhere and maybe do some other type of function. Well, even within that, you could have examples of, well, someone hard 
basically outputs a hard template, maybe text box, an input text or an input text region, and that would be residing within a code versus, let's say, storing the parameters that would that would dictate objects on the fly, making it easier to manage. Rather, so rather than constantly writing functions to spit out code, put the data within a database that could have its own administrating GUI and then spit it out that way. So these are the things that I've personally had experience with, and there have been some great challenges, especially taking some o older Fox Pro written things and, and the customer wanted the exact flow. No matter the argument, they wanted it to flow the same way, but because hardware was changing and they needed to keep up to date with some standards and things like that and printers, I had to write it in a, in a whole new language, and but it had to maintain the flow of this old legacy app. And that was quite challenging. It was more of a linear flow uh, than, let's say, object-oriented where I could share objects and pull in different things and stuff like that. So those are some of the personal experiences that I've had. It, I, home banking, where, gosh, going into back ends, and, and I can tell you some of the banking industry, some of them have very old software that they keep preserved, and we have to tap into it, and sometimes even getting that requires like these timeout sessions where we'd go and we'd wait for the mainframe to spit out the data and you have to hit it on the mark so on and so forth and so lots of debugging involved in that even to a collection of, of the, the user the simplistic where they just want to see send a request to view a check and then we go off to get the actual image of the check to to show them so several examples of, of, of software that I've had and and again, it's it's been from invoicing systems to uh, heat treatment, steel industry, uh, mental health hospitals, um, gosh, running of uh, point of sale systems within restaurants, inventory systems, quite a lot. So uh, been around the map. Just to uh, list some of the ones that I have thinking off the top of the head. Some examples. I, I could give you of how that is done. Some people use a very formal design, UML, and in that they'll have a standard of how things will look so you can hand the design on paper. And it doesn't have to be language specific. It'll, it can c cover just about any language. I would say even procedural and, and, and a type of float you could even do it. And then object oriented where you have the classes and things like that. So I hope that that explains some of the software design, at least that I have done. So, if I can reiterate, software design is, is if not the most important, one of the top three. Logic, the flow, intuitive to the end user, reusable code, frameworks, all of that comes into play and the result of which is what we see and actually what we debate about and whether it's an operating system or software maybe that one that one piece of software runs faster than the other and they they're really designed to do the same things for you but one's better than the other guarantee you software design had something to do with it anyway thanks for watching